just a quick trip north and east of Sioux Falls to Brandon and you'll discover a lot of new business activity plus one unexpected attraction. Let's take a look. Brandon's latest boutique literally rolled into town. The Paisley Pod began as a mobile boutique in 2015, making appearances at special events around the area. I always kind of had the dream of having a storefront so that I could see people more, serve more people, and be local. Um, so then this year, I was like, this is the year to do it. She opened in June in a new retail center that includes Scooter's Coffee. I've been able to um, basically quadruple my inventory. So I try to cater because I used to be in the corporate world. So I have a lot of pieces that are versatile, so you can wear them to work during the day, but then throw on a pair of jeans and still look super cute for night. The boutique mainly serves women from their 20s through their 60s. And while style preferences might change, the store's mission is consistent, to help women show their inner confidence. When you come into the store, I want you to feel super, super welcome. I want it to be more than just a clothing boutique where you come to buy your clothes. I want you to come here because of the way that you feel when you're here and the way that we help to make you feel. She's also bought in on Brandon. There was never a question where her mobile boutique would turn into a storefront. Brandon is my place. Brandon is where I am from. And our business and retail community has really blossomed in the last few years, I think. People here want to shop locally and they want to shop small businesses. And we have a lot of places to go and eat, to shop. You could spend your entire day here if you wanted to. A day in Brandon could easily include a stop here, where a former bartender has become a business owner at 212 The Boiling Point. I like the town of Brandon. Um, I actually obviously worked here six years before, so I know the people out here. A lot of my regulars are still the same regulars, so I like the atmosphere. I like the small town feel. Everyone comes together, has fun. The bar and grill opened 12 years ago with a race theme because of the former Hucett Speedway nearby. Hopefully we can get it reopened, but we try to get the people before the races, after the races, get some of the drivers, trying to make it a local feel, to give them a place to go after the races. Um, now that we don't have a track, we show as many races as we can. Um, we still get a lot of race fans out here, so it's kind of nice. It's a, good, it's a good vibe. Since becoming the owner at the start of this year, he redid the menu with a focus on broadening the options. Did a little bit of everything. There's some gluten-free options between burger, pizzas, um, there's some lighter bites, lettuce wraps, stuff like that. Um, all those we do are our in-house apps like the wontons, sell a lot, a lot of them. There also are tons of daily specials and happy hour deals. We want to keep you, get you in, get you out, come, make everything on the menu is quick. As he expands the business, he'd like to begin offering more events, but for now has a popular weekly fundraiser. Right now we're doing the Catch the Kids, or Catch the King fundraiser for the kids. Um, it's keeping kids in outdoor sports. We do that every Thursday night between 5 and 7 p.m. All the money goes to kids' hunting, fishing, camping. And finally, the racing theme takes on a new twist at one of Brandon's better kept secrets. This is Aspen Park Raceway, a labor of love for Sioux Falls contractor Gil Haugen and his son. He was 12 or 13 years old and um, we went on racing a little bit of dirt and uh, we traveled around for five, six years probably. And uh, it got where it was a lot of work and we kind of got tired of traveling. He's from Brandon and still lives nearby. And about 10 years ago, the city was willing to partner on this space at Aspen Park, not far from the town's swimming pool. They were willing to give us a nice chunk of ground to work with. And as long as I provided the, the water and the power and the fence and the dirt, uh, they, were, they were willing with uh, maybe do a little mowing. And uh, so this is our ninth season, I believe. As far as offer goes, it's a pretty large track. Uh, 40 second lap times with jumps, bumps, and, and that type of thing. An expert comes in annually from California to redo the track. A whole new layout. We haul in uh, a dozen new loads of, of clay, fresh clay, try to get as clean as we can, and provide some equipment for him, and he just, he builds the tracks. A whole new layout, new jumps, bumps, whatever's hot for the season. It's open anytime the park is. It's open to the public, come and play all they want. Uh, all we ask is when it's rainy or, or muddy, we, we lock the gate and um, don't jump the fence and go track it up. Sundays during the summer are race days, drawing as many as 100 cars here. And while many are regulars, anyone is welcome to race. If they show up with a car that doesn't quite fit, whatever, it doesn't matter. We'll, we'll find a spot for them to race. 
We'd like to thank the Minnehaha County Economic Development Association for sponsoring our trip to Brandon today. And if you'd like more information on anything you've seen here, just head over to www.siouxfalls.business.